Alright you guys, it's Elevated here. Um, finally coming at you with July's videos. Uh, here it is, I'm recording this halfway through August now, <laughs> but it's alright, we're gonna get through this. Um, so typically um, with these haiku videos I tend to present them with either like um, a video of like um, Texas nature landscape or whatever, uh, or um, I'll showcase an artist that I really like. Today what I'm uh, doing instead is I'm going to be showcasing um, an idea that I had developed around the same time that I was doing all this writing as well. Um, and it has to do with, um, I'm sure you've noticed, um, I've definitely pointed it out, uh, I've got a couple of like anti-capitalist uh, <laughs> sentiments uh, sprinkled throughout my writings, which is fine and all, you know. Um, we were all young at one point, right? <laughs> um, but it's okay. I'm. I kind of like look back on that stuff and kind of cringe on it now. Not because like, oh, I'm I'm so for capitalism now. You know, the propaganda got through, and I'm a fucking <laughs> brainwashed idiot for it now. No, <laughs> um, I I cringe on it now because it's just like. It's a waste of time, honestly, like, wanting to improve the world, and I'll, I'll go into that in some of my other videos, like, um, be in the world, not of the world, and stuff like that, um, but it's like, okay, so my thing is, all these economic systems, or systems of government, and stuff like that, like, pretty much all of these systems work, um, 100% well, like, in theory. The issue is when they translate to reality, um, you start to notice where um, a whole bunch of like foundational assumptions, like one of the biggest things about capitalism that always rubbed me the wrong way was the assumption that people make rational buying decisions. I don't think, I don't even think a vast majority of people's um, purchasing um, decisions are rational like a good like 60 to 80 percent of all of the things you buy are probably from like irrational impulses and stuff like that um so it's like when you develop an entire like economic system based on something as like a flawed assumption like that like it's it's doomed to fail like no matter what or yeah um but my thing with it now is is like um it's not it's not the the economic systems that we have to improve it's not it's not these things that we have to work on it's like it's just human nature like i said i'm pretty sure i've said it before if there's an organization a group or a committee or any sort of like gathering of people who are in charge of policies and stuff like that it's going to be run incorrectly either by malice or greed or something as innocuous as like ignorance and um, simple human error um, so it's like this pipe dream of having like the perfect utopia is never gonna work out um, having said that I'm gonna be showcasing my <laughs> pipe dream of utopia <laughs> for this video um, this is something that like I was really passionate about um, a couple years ago but it's like it's 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 um philosophical grandstanding at this point it's it's not it's not important like this was something i was playing like close to my chest because i really wanted to change the world with this idea um <laughs> but it's like the world's the, the people aren't going to change like you can change the circumstances uh around them but people themselves are always going to be their same ignorant stupid selfish like selves or whatever um but yeah maybe if someone else like is feeling particularly inclined you might want to take these ideas and run with it because it actually i think i think it's still a good idea i just don't really care for it anymore um but yeah um i kind of do, it's funny because like i kind of, I've, I've seen similar sentiments in like buckminster fuller's um what is it, Operating Manual for Spaceship Earth? Um, which is funny because I haven't even been able to get past this first paragraph, because this pretty much spells out 
um, everything wrong with like um, having this discussion with people. It's the most annoying thing from both. I have like no peers to talk about this kind of stuff with because um, people are so like. If you're talking to a capitalist and you mention that you're anti-capitalist, oh, man, they come at you like you're a fucking, like, communist in the middle of, like, the McCarthy era. Like, it's so ridiculous. And then if you're, if you're, if you're talking to an anti-capitalist, they assume you're, like, all for communism or socialism or something like that. It makes absolutely zero sense. Like, I don't understand why people are so opposed to, like, new ideas. Um, <clears throat> or like developing or like progress I love that progressives or like leftists or liberal I don't know the fucking difference between all that shit I don't really care um, it's all a fucking cult to me anyways but like it's really funny how uh, leftists or liberals or whatever call themselves progressives but then um, idolize economic systems or systems of government that were developed like two to three technological revolutions ago like it makes absolutely zero sense to me like why if communism didn't even work back in the middle of the industrial revolution why the fuck would it work like now it makes zero sense zero sense oh my gosh that's like trying to bring back feudalism like that's going to be a viable option <sighs> but anyways um i still haven't even gotten through um, buckminster fuller's book because I can't even get past this first paragraph because it just sums up like this idea so well like <laughs> I'm still sitting on it it's been like months since I've like tried to start reading this book and this this I just keep rereading this paragraph over and over again um, so he's like I am enthusiastic over humanity's extraordinary and sometimes very timely ingenuities if you are in a shipwreck and all the boats are gone a piano top Buoyant enough to keep you afloat that comes along makes a fortuitous life preserver. But this is not to say that the best way to design a life preserver is in the form of a piano top. I think that we are clinging to a great many piano tops and accepting yesterday's fortuitous contrivings as constituting the only means for solving a given problem. <sighs> wow. Yeah, let's unpack that. <laughs> um, so he's basically saying, like, the, uh, the capitalist sentiment... Oh, you just don't know how good you have it. Capitalism is the best thing we've come up with. Um, it's the best thing you've come up with so far. That does not mean by any means that it's a good system at all. But whatever. People are like so... And what's really funny is like, yeah, he says like a, a, a good piano top comes along and you can like hoist yourself on it. But like people are like... <laughs> The thing about, like, anti-capitalists is, like, they see that, they, and they'll be like, oh, this piano top sucks, let's go over to this other, like, rotten wood piece of shit, like, other debris, and use that instead. It's like, no, both of them are fucking awful. They're, none of those are actually, like, <laughs> the way to design a life preserver at all. Ugh, and it's just like, people are so ingrained, or, like, you don't even realize how boxed in or indoctrinated or uh, propagandated you are. Um, when you can't even, like, fathom, like, the idea of, like, developing something new. Like, I always get into this argument with people online, is, like, um, I'm not anti, or I, like, I'll be, like, I'm anti-capitalist, and they'll be, like, oh, you're so you're communist, and it's, like, no, I'm against that, too. Um, I'm against all that bullshit. Um, clearly we need to be developing better ideas. Um, current ideas that, um, actually reflect our current, um, technological revolution like we've got so many um advancements in like logistics distribution um computational power um resource and development and stuff like that like there's no reason why we should be relying on systems that were developed again like two three technological revolutions ago it makes zero sense whatsoever <sighs> This shit really gets me heated because, like I said, I have no, I have no peers because no one talks about this shit. They're all like, oh, well, why don't it, where I'm like, we need to come up with something better. And people are always like, oh, yeah, well, what is it? It's like, I'm sitting here. I'm trying to develop my own ideas. Obviously, I might be able to relay them all in a comment section. But, like, people are always like, oh, yeah, what's your idea, buddy? Let's hear it. 
<laughs> like, no, like, we all need to be on this wavelength where it's like, we need to move past these fucking shitty you know, life preservers that we have and, like, move on to something better. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, this shit still gets me heated. Um, <laughs> um, it's whatever, though. Um, so, yeah, this, this, this idea that I came up with, um, I actually took, I'm, I'm merging, like, several different ideas. Um, so there's this idea of the Earth ship, um, which is, um, an Earth shelter, which is made from recycled materials. Um, it's supposed to, and it's this, um, you know, the stereotypical, like, oh, I want to live off-grid, I want to reduce my carbon footprint, I want to live in a tiny home, I want to live, um, um, in a self-sustainable environment and stuff like that, which is fine and all. Um, my, the, the, the biggest issue I have with, um, this, um, idea is that it's always, it's always designed to be a home or a shelter. Um, it's always designed to be some place you live in. Like, the guy who came up with it, he lives in, um, New Mexico, I think. And he's had a lot of problems, like, really getting this idea out. Because, you know, being a shelter or being a home... Especially in America, homes have a lot of, um... Or, like, architecture in general has a lot of, um... Res re restrictions. Um, not limitations. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, not qualifications. It has a lot of, um, regulations, that's what it is, um, to make a home. So, he, he, this guy, I think he's been doing it for like 10 years or something like that, or like 20 years or something like that, but he's just had a lot of problems, um, getting this off the ground because a lot of places don't allow, um, homes like this for stupid reasons, like there's no, like, electricity running through it or stuff like that, even though, like, that's kind of the point, is to reduce the carbon footprint or whatever. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, you can check out their um, their uh, YouTube channel. Um, this other YouTube channel, she kind of um, goes through. She finds these people um, who, um, like I said, the stereotypical like, oh, I just I just want to live off the grid. Um, like I said, um, tiny homes, um, stuff like that. Basically, my issue with this is it's it's always limited to to being a home, like the, which makes no sense because these, if you if you were to take these ideas of like creating a building that's like self-regulating, doesn't need to have access to water, doesn't need to have access to electricity, can be completely um, built with like recycled materials, and then combine it with ideas like aquaponics or hydroponics where you're um, you're literally creating like a closed environment. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of this. It's basically um, combining um, what is it, aquaculture, where you're raising um, plants in water. Oh no, sorry, hydroponics, where you're raising plants in water with um, growing um, water creatures like crayfish um, or um, I've seen like tilapia and stuff like that. Um, which is a good idea. Like it, it, it really helps. We, like I said, we've made a lot of advancements um, in technology, especially in like agricultural technology. Unfortunately, a lot of it's been in like industrial agriculture, um, but whatever. But yeah, um, yeah. There's a lot of videos on aquaponics you can find online. Um, he's got a couple videos on it too. It, um, um, and then there's other, like, advancements, like, this guy came up with, um, I don't know if he came up with it, but he's, um, marketing, um, what do you call it? Um, micro farming, or I think that's what it's called. Yeah, microgreens. Um, basically what you're doing is you're, like, overloading, um, and I think he does, like, aquaponics or hydroponics, or he mixes some of those ideas, too. But it's basically where you're, like, um giving plants, like, um, overloading them with nutrients, um, so they can grow, 
um, but then you're harvesting them while they're still like um, adolescent um, which is good because like the you cut the harvest time from like several weeks um, or several months down to like maybe like two to three weeks tops so um, he's been able to do that and like create a whole business like just growing in his backyard in like smaller areas um, and stuff like that And then you also have, uh, I just found out this the other day too, um, Daisugi, where you're actually like, instead of like cutting down, um, cutting down entire forests for wood, what you do is you actually like prune, let me see if I can Google it too. You're actually like pruning um, the trees to where, um, you're pruning the trees, so, like, you're only using the wood from the top, and the way that the Japanese, like, develop this is, like, these trees grow straight now, like, the shoots go straight up, which makes it much easier for, um, creating lumber and working with wood, um, but the, the entire tree itself still remains alive the whole time. Um, so there's so many different, like, um, so many different um, applications of this, or even just this idea in general, where you're not like <sighs> it's like instead of like assuming like the earth is um, has limited resources or something like that, you 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 need to recognize that it's it's. It's a self-sustained, self-regenerating system. We literally have plants that grow out of dirt. Like, I don't know how people don't realize how... Just, like, how much of a miracle that is. <laughs> like, you can literally grow um, crops out of nothing. Um, I mean, like, yeah, obviously you need, like, a certain type of, like... Um, compost or manure or um you need to have the right like nitrogen amounts and nutrients in the soil for them to grow but like we are not limited <laughs> in our resources we are limited in our thinking um but yeah so basically this idea that i have kind of combines all of this together so instead of like doing an earth ship and making it oh it's got to be a home i want to live off the grid oh like stuff like that or like aquaponics um like, oh we're just trying to grow our own food and stuff like that it's like you can you can take these ideas and You don't even need to take these ideas. I've said it. I've said it before. Um, we have the technology, the resources, and the manpower right now to feed every man, woman, and child on this earth without a problem. Um, the only thing that stops us is fucking idiots who say, who think like, "Oh, well, you're not gonna make any mo money off of that, so it's not worth it." Which is one of my issues with capitalism. Um, where it's like it I don't understand why people don't uh, understand this but it's like capitalism definitely makes you prioritize profit over everything else I don't care what kind of business you are hospitals always have to be looking at the bottom line um, this and that <clears throat> and people are, I know I know people are gonna be like um, well how are you gonna stay in business if you're not making any money if you're not making a profit um, you are making a profit. You're making food. Like, you're making, you're growing, I don't know, you're recycling, like, you're doing all this and that. Like, the profit is not monetary, but that doesn't mean there's no profit, right? Um, so yeah, basically that's what um, these first two um, haikus are about. Um, so I had the idea of like infrastructural earth ships. So instead of building homes that are 
completely regulated or, or that probably aren't even viable because of all the regulations on what homes need to have. Um, you can make like infrastructural earth ships where like, um, I had this idea, or you can make like libraries or hospitals, but you don't even need those. Like you can just make it and to where it's only, it's only purpose is to grow food. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but, um, uh, so yeah, this is, this is the big idea that I had was like, uh, creating a vertical monopoly, uh, construction company. So, um, a vertical, uh, a regular monopoly obviously is, um, having, um, um, hegemonic control over like one product or one resource or whatever. A vertical monopoly is, um, where you have, um, complete control over the entire, like, um, so you 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 own a monopoly over like um, like the entire process. So everything from like the resource, the raw resource gathering, to the warehousing and distribution, to the construction and stuff like that. Everything is um, under the same company. Um, so like there is. You can play with this idea. There is a way to like. You could go up to like any city hall and be like, "Hey, can we take over your landfill and repurpose it, and um, start creating these buildings um, for um, either free or really low, or maybe even have like taxes pay for it or something like that." Like, there's there's ways to uh, get around and do this. I, like I said, I don't really care anymore, because, um, it's not my passion, it's not, it's not, <laughs> like, I don't care if humanity lives or dies, I really don't, um, and honestly, um, if this is the only thing we're able to fix is world hunger, but, like, we still have all of our other issues, overpopulation is gonna be such a terrible, like, thing, like, it's not even going to matter. This would probably make the world worse than better. But, you know, in an ideal world, this is what you would, um, this is what you would probably want to come up with, something like that. Um, where you have, like, um, like one or two of these buildings, like, for a community, would probably be able to feed a lot of people. Um, but yeah, just, just, um, just an idea. So the the rest of these um, haikus are gonna have just pictures of earth ships and um, um, stuff like that. Everything I just talked about. So yeah. Okay. Finally moving on from that. Getting right into the actual poetry. Um, again, more <laughs> uh, anti-capitalist sentiments. One is never given the opportunity to be content. And I'm really hoping it's not um, another haiku that I wrote because I kind of don't want to ruin it. But I remember writing something down that was like, um, "When are we ever given the, the the thing about capitalism is like, when are we ever given the opportunity to be like, all right, okay, I made enough money, like that's all I need. I'm done. I'm checking out, cashing my chips. Don't need to participate anymore. Like obviously, there's like retirement." Um, which is not the same thing as what I'm saying. Um, like, um, even if you retire, you still have to pay property taxes. Um, nowadays, uh, like, it's, you're, you're never given the opportunity to just be like, all right, <laughs> I've, I've worked enough, I've made enough, I'm done, I'm out. Cash me out. <laughs> like, no, it, 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 it <laughs> Capitalism doesn't work like that. Like, people just have this assumption where you're like, oh, you're just, you're supposed to work hard. You're supposed to work hard for all your money and for all your life. And, <laughs> um, it's, it's stupid. It's absolutely stupid. Um, and of course, people will pull the stereotypical, like, oh, well, you're not a man because you don't want to, like, work hard. Ugh, uh, <laughs> I just like almost rolled my eyes to the back of my head how much I was um, annoyed by that. <laughs> ah, it's just stupid. It's absolutely stupid. Um, 
So yeah. Um, another <laughs> anti-capitalist. A man is only as valuable as that which he provides to the economy. If you're not providing anything to the economy, you're not worth shit. People aren't gonna care about you. People aren't gonna care about you if you're if you're able to eat or not, because they're like, oh well, you're not working for it, so you don't deserve it. It's it's funny because it's like I can do all the work I can, um, but if it's not something that um, makes money, then it's not worthwhile work. Or it's not the right work or whatever. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, like I just said, a man profiting others in ways unbounded by market exchanges has no value to the market. Um, which is why, like, um, yeah, it's whatever. I don't really, I don't really care anymore because it's like this is this is like the water is wet type shit to me. It is what it is. I will not be marketed. Ugh, that one I cringe at because it's just like, oh, it's whatever. <clears throat> um, random thought, Uber food truck. I'm surprised no one's actually, well, they probably have, but it's not like marketed correctly yet. Uber food truck. Like, um, just like, yeah. Carbonated milk. <laughs> this is where my humor gets it gets me sometimes. That's funny. Um, definitely not as good as that one. Um, political activist for hire. This again was like f five, six years ago. Um, I think it's funny. No comment. <sighs> These concrete streets lay like shackles on the land conquesting nature um it's funny because like, i actually wanted to talk to one of my friends about this how they're so like um um what is it called misanthropic you know like or you just hate humans and society because they're destroying nature it's like well humans are part of nature i really don't like nowadays i really don't see the, the difference between like um humans building highways and roads um versus um like termites building their their dens or their hills or whatever it 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 it, it all looks the same to me now like I, it it doesn't matter to me um actually i um i had this idea uh like last year i think where it's like one of the one of the biggest like wonders of the world that we have nowadays is probably our um our road system like just to imagine the fact that you could start literally pretty much anywhere in the US drive on a road and make it to anywhere else in the US like the amount of um interconnectedness that is it's it's absolutely mind blowing um so yeah um, a part of me still thinks they, they look like shackles. Excuse me, but it's whatever. I'm a lot more apathetic about it now. Um, God, symmetrical with all. No asymmetry divides form from God. Eh. I've got some sentiments about this, but... I don't really have them all fleshed out yet, so it's whatever. Um, I really like this um, uh, 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 imagery that I came up with. This is like the third or the fourth monkey in a birdcage haiku I've come up with. Um, claustrophobic mind, monkey in a birdcage, desperate rattling noises. Imagine a reality void of perception. Exactly. My actions calculate, gauging your reactions, effortly observing slash testing. Um, I think this is when I was really big on like um, 
I'm I'm naturally an introvert. Um, it is what it is. Um, I used to be like um, I used to be um, all about like um, what was that like the superiority like obviously introverts are better than extroverts. Um, but uh, there was an old uh, like Chinese um, proverb. Uh, I forget who says it. Uh, it might not even be Chinese, honestly. Um, but they're like, um, there are two position. There, sorry, two dispositions: um, the inward disposition, aka introvert, and the outward disposition, aka extrovert. And anybody who is lacking in either is not a complete man or woman. Um, but yeah, um, it is what it is. Um, Space slash reality travels forth from your center at the speed of light. Hive minds stifle the buzzing inquisitiveness of wasps among bees. Yeah, this is literally like um, anytime I try to um, criticize capitalism, boom. Anytime I try to criticize um, like the stereotypical anti-capitalist um, thought form, it's the same thing. Like it's the same thing. It's it's really funny how like society tends to corral you between um, two options, and they don't even give you an opportunity to think of a third. And then both sides yell and scream at you like you're on the other side. Ah, it is what it is. Um, in folklore and mythology, conflicts always have re-solutions. Um, but yeah. Um, meditation is just as natural, healthy, and vital as sleep. For sure. Oh, yeah. My dog is sitting here falling asleep because it's like four in the morning. <laughs> um, eyes closed, fan buzzing, air buffets, breathe deep, skin tingles, silhouette body. Um, this is kind of an interesting thing um, where you close your eyes and like I, you kind of feel like. Um, you, you you lose form almost like um, if you were to close your eyes like um, obviously you feel the chair underneath um, your seat um, you feel the floor underneath your feet and whatever you're touching but like if you close your eyes anything that's not touching anything it, like kind of loses form so that's why I say silhouette um, buddy um, mellow tenacity glacial momentum I really like that um, it's all a game and the best rule makers win, of course, of course. <laughs> this is why I don't care anymore, because um, it's all a game. Um, and I'm, I'm playing the game the way I want to now. Um, I'm not worried about how other people are playing. I'm not worried. I'm not sitting here flaming cheaters for cheating. Like, it, it is what it is. Um, the existential quandary of being special and unique just like everything else uh, of course um these people read social cues like they're fucking dyslexic honestly bro honestly and what gets me is like it's <sighs> it's such a social faux pas to like um point out like um um like nonverbal social cues or something like that um, I don't know why, it just is. Um, trust in lies of you, if pride is truth in you, slash pleasure is truth in you. Um, so basically what this one is, um, if your ultimate truth is to be proud of yourself, or if your ultimate truth is to, um, find pleasure for yourself, then <laughs> you're, you're, you're trusting in, in lies, <laughs> basically. Um. Defining an infinity makes it larger. What's applying an infinity makes it smaller. Just a little bit of math. I don't even know if it's fucking true. I haven't taken a math class since high school. Um, how much time is one time? You know, one time. How much time is that? <laughs> and Jersey. Uh, nice little word I came up with. It is what it is. But yeah. 
that's the end of these haikus. Hopefully I can get around to um, making my karma video. <sighs> that one's really the one that got me. Um, got me really behind. It is what it is though. Uh, yeah. Um, that's it. Hope to see you next time. Hopefully I'll get all my videos done this month. Uh, but yeah.